Hi, I'm Risha Lancaster. I co-founded Coffee for Craig with my wife, Fee Lancaster. We're a voluntary organisation. It's taken over our life. We, we work at it 24 hours a day. So it's just part of our lives now and we love it. <laughs> Basically, Craig was my brother. It was about four years before he died that um, he became homeless. When I did find out, it was, a real, it was a real shock. So, as I was living up here, and he was living in Cardiff, and there wasn't really very much that I could do, I decided to start working with the homeless guys up here and eventually sort of try and help him so that I could understand. But then, um, then he died, basically. It was... Um, he, I got the phone call that he died and it was a real shock. He, he died in a car park on his own. He um, took, a, took a heroin overdose. And from that moment on, I just wanted to make sure that he didn't die in vain. So myself and my wife, Fee, we started Coffee for Craig. Within two days of him dying, we put out a post saying that if anyone came across someone who was homeless, give them a cup of coffee and say it was from Craig. So that's where the name came up. And then we sort of put a post out saying if anyone could help us, give us some um, food to make a meal and sort of stuff like that. And we did a meal the day after his funeral for all his, his friends in the, in the homeless community. At his funeral, um, a lot of people came up to myself and Fee and said that Craig had helped them. Despite the fact that he was on the street, people that came up to us and said if it weren't for Craig, I'd still be on the street now because he walked me through the service, he told me what to do. The fact that he cared about the people around him inspired me. So me and Fee started going out on the streets in Manchester giving food and from there we've just sort of gone on and housed people and we've started this food bank for people who are in poverty, not just homeless. And we do three street kitchens a week on Piccadilly. So it sort of grew and grew and grew.